Hello everyone, as you all know, like NTA has finally released the key answers for both ICR PG and PhD entrance exam. So I was actually answering the queries of the students. Uh, it's already been 5.30 in the morning. Still, there are so many queries that are left out. So what I've decided is like I've made the list of the common queries, which are very much general and need, need to be addressed in mass. So these are the queries I'll just, uh, that I have listed out. So that I will be explaining in this video in quickly in two to three minutes. So that will definitely help you to proceed further. So first, very first thing is like, what is the next step after the release of key answers? So very important thing after the release of key answer is challenging the questions. So while checking the key answers, if you feel that any of the questions are given mistaken in the NTA key answers, those questions you can challenge by providing the authentic source. So to upload it, you have a dedicated section within the NTA website where you can upload the authentic source and challenge the key answers. So regarding this particular process, there are few doubts. Like if someone actually challenges the key answers, whether the marks will be only allotted to him or her, whether when the correction is being made or it will be done to everyone. So irrespective of whether you challenge the questions or not, if a single person is going to do it, the if there is any correction, the correction would be done and the marks will be allotted to all the students who have given the exams and attended that questions. It's not like only the it will be given to the student only if you are challenging the questions and it, it is not compulsory that the students who have attended the questions, everyone should challenge the key answers. Even a single person challenges the key answers. If there are any changes that are being made by the ICR or NTA, so everyone will get will be getting the marks if she or he has attended the questions okay and the next question is regarding the dropped one so if some questions are being dropped after verification so those questions will be not considered for evaluation so the total marks is 480 now so if a single question is dropped so the total marks that will be considered is 376 so it will be evaluated for 376 and the marks and the rank will be based on this marks. So this is about drop. So there is no question of getting grace marks here. So if some question is dropped, that means like marks will be deducted. For example, if one question is dropped, that means four marks will be lessened. So the total marks would be 376. I hope these two things are very much clear to you. Next. So when does the counseling will start? The counseling we usually starts actually in the one month after the release of this key answers. Within one month, you can expect it to be starting from any time within one month. So usually the procedure is after the release of key answers, uh, the once the challenging process is done, next within 20 to 25 days, they will release the scorecard and rank simultaneously sometime or they might release the scorecard first and then the rank and then the counseling uh, schedule or sometimes they can release these key answers, uh, sorry, uh, rank card, scorecard and the schedule for the counseling at a time and the timeline would be within a month it will be released. Okay. So what are the after for this counseling process the next question is what documents we have to be prepared with see very important documents right now is one is your domicile certificate i guess like many of you do not know about it so there is one certificate called as domicile certificate that you need to be prepared with and next is study, study certificates and third one is pdc these three things are very much necessary which you have to be prepared if you are going to attend the icr counseling so there is one important problem uh, while the students were checking the key answers in which there were two different types of questions in which in which one of the questions there was a solid mark and uh, it was given as choose an option in the other one there is no solid mark but still it is showing it as choose an option so in these two things there is some confusion whether they will be considered for the uh, correction or not or they will be considered to allot the marks or not so that i will be uh, um, clarifying it after inquiring it with the nta so till then please wait for the update so these were the some of the common queries that i have received from the students i hope like i was i was able to provide you the information regarding the same next we have uh, also given you the google form circulated the google form in all our social media platforms so this google form is to predict your rank and also to challenge the key answers. So if you feel that any of the questions are given wrong, 
and you want to challenge them so we will be doing it on behalf of yourself so since we have conducted this online courses for six different subjects for all the six different subjects we will be challenging the key answers if there is anything wrong in that by providing the authentic source so for this reason and also for the accurate rank prediction you have to fill the google form and mention your marks that you have obtained so since like uh, icr will definitely take at least 20 to 25 days to release the rank card uh, rank prediction will actually help you so this is because of the reason that many students will be simultaneously going for state counseling and for also other uh, uh, university counselings which will definitely help this rank prediction will definitely help them to decide whether to go for this continue the counseling process or to terminate the process and it will definitely help them to save like thousands of rupees so that is why we have done it so if you have if you are watching this video just try to circulate this google form and get it filled by all of your friends who have written the exams in whichever subject it is so the rank prediction will be released on 3rd of august on at uh, 10 pm in your in our youtube channel agree edit okay next we'll be also um, collecting or gathering the questions which are needed to be challenged and we'll cross verify it i think uh, properly and then we'll provide you the details of which questions we are going to challenge by tomorrow evening that will be done by tomorrow evening okay so these are the things that which i wanted to convey so if there are any other queries you can comment on this video we'll be surely ready to help you people thank you